managed to beat him. And then White had to double um, eliminate him for the win. Yeah, and now um, Light's in. This is a loser's round three match because Light decided to go Roy. That's OD. That means that he got this far without using Fox. Well, no, OK. Correction. He definitely used Fox against Sone. Don't know if he used Fox against Dark Blues, but most likely. <laughs> so. Like, you can only sleep so hard, especially at this point in the competition. But there's absolutely no sleeping when it comes to this match. Because I know both of these guys are looking forward to fighting each other. Yeah, man, Yoshi, Yoshi's a character that you gave a functional forward tilt to, and now the characters would be. <laughs> they gave it such a good forward tilt, too. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. This, ca this character aggravates me. Yeah, and Light calling out the Eggly with the up smash. He was just like, he did not, he did not care whatsoever. Like, you, in order to play around Yoshi, you have to call out a lot of his movement with anti-airs. And while up smash isn't a conventional anti-air, it's definitely going to make a mark. Oh, yeah, no, because that the Eggly is definitely slow enough to get hit by the up smash. So, so I think this matchup, you have to take note, is that Yoshi says Yoshi doesn't have an actual shield. Yoshi has an egg. Fox can do those shield poke shenanigans that he could do against other characters, like pressure still with back air, and all of a sudden hit your head. It's not gonna happen. Yoshi's body is never exposed. It's a huge aspect of defensive play because it means that Suarez doesn't have to worry about being pressured into shield as much, and he's always gonna have Nair out of shield as an option for breaking away. Yeah, and sp speaking of breaking away, that down that down be out of shield. Um did that stock for him. You know, pretty strong move out of shield that a lot of people don't expect. Ooh, I like that. All right, but unfortunately, didn't place the uh, the jump right for down air. Down air does tons of damage, and I know Sars has been trying to to incorporate it more into his combos, and that's just unfortunate. Wow, air dodge sends him away. I mean, he, he was at a high enough percentage where light like likely could have taken the stock, but you never want to see a stock end out of that. You know, it's funny. So, um. I was watching Light's interview uh, after Orion, and he was saying how Sage told him to camp, camp Yoshi, and he didn't want to camp Yoshi, and he didn't camp Yoshi and got blown up. He was just like, man, <laughs> I have to camp this character. And that's what he's doing now. He's he taking his hits. He's not overextending whatsoever. See how he's hitting Yoshi and directly running away from him? Because you know, if you try to box with Yoshi, you're not going to win this game. Oh, yeah. Yoshi's got big hitboxes, and it forces you to have to respect them. But Yoshi has very linear approaching tools. Like, everything he has, you're able to reach at a distance. And if you throw up enough up smashes, it's going to kill. Yeah, he's just calling out um, these approach options with an up smash just straight out. Not even doing anything like a safe poke. That means he's very confident with his read. Using his bands, he's looking to get Yoshi's brawl off the field, and I also Smashville. That was a smart band. Um, I feel like we're gonna see Pokemon Stadium too, isn't it? Maybe Tom. No, he banned both Yoshi's. Okay, so we got rid of both the Yoshi's. That means that either Stadium Two or Smashville is the logical pick. Uh, we've seen like be proficient on Pokemon Stadium Two. Ooh, they're going into Battlefield. Yeah. Ooh, all right. I like it, especially if uh, if this is Suarez's response to Light taking a bit of a more passive approach to this matchup. Because lasers aren't going to be as effective when there's multiple tiers of uh, platforms to approach on. Oh, yeah, and um, Yoshi can also string up airs together. This is Fo just like Fox can with the new the way the new up air works for Yoshi. So he could probably get some platform extensions off of this. Yeah, I mean, um, good pair by Light. See, Light is one of the one of the first players where I can really confidently say like he's able to like make use of the parry system. We've talked about this before earlier in today's tournament, but like you got to know what you're doing at a parry to really make it work. And Light always seems to have an option. Whether it's he's going to respond with jabs, he's going to try and go for up tilt, forward tilt, even just to break away. Like he knows what his options are. Man, Suarez is it, not playing it all right now. Yeah, like, yeah, just the overextension. Um, it's just killing him right now. Because Light is playing so, so passive right now, which is a weird thing to say for Light. But he's playing so passive that he kind of has to push the envelope a little bit against Light. And every time he pushes that envelope, Light is waiting for something. Like, same waiting for a hard punish. So, 
I feel like it's a testament to like the, the amount of pressure that's on both of these players like for this particular set. Because like you look at any Yoshi, you're like, all right, this character's annoying, but this should be combo food. But like light changes like a core aspect of his play to fight Suarez. And it's really something to behold on both ends. One, that Suarez is able to bring out that kind of a pressure onto a player of Light's caliber. But then two, the fact that Light can change something so different about how he plays with like the snap of the finger. Yeah, I mean, that's just a testament to how good a player he is. And that Nair out of shield is going to take Light's stop. Trying to figure out how he wants to respond. I like that Suarez is hanging a lot towards center stage for this. Like, he sees that he's not going to find as many opportunities of, like, to approach in on him. So, he might as well try to camp harder. Because yeah, if, if there's one thing that you can do in a passive zoning war, it's just out-zone, out-live, out-last. Yeah, I just, I just the problem that Suarez is having is that Light isn't engaging with him unless he presses a button. As every time he puts Yoshi on the ledge, he moves away and just starts camping center stage. Because he knows, at the end of the day, he has the lasers. The lasers are faster than travel faster than the eggs. And Suarez has to approach them, especially in this situation. It's, you know, right now it's kind of rough for Suarez. Like, on top of all of that, at any point, Light can just throw out his up smash. Fox is incredibly quick, and the up smash has very little startup to it. Yoshi doesn't really have that luxury. Yeah, and especially with the percent differences, he can take those chances. He, like, he could, he could throw it up smash and have Yoshi block it and not die. So, you know, th th those are good decisions by uh, Light, just weighing out the good and the bad. He did that. <laughs> he did he that. came out from out deep with Yoshi Bomb. I didn't even notice he did that. Now, I think H tried to cover space, but another up smash, and that's going to be the end of the road for Suarez. Handshakes are funny, but Light is going to advance to play the winner as Jen and John Numbers. This is just a brutal one to see, just because from the previous time that these two have played, Light has adapted so heavily. And the fact that he was able to just change so much about, like, what to do for fighting Suarez is, like, kid's nuts.